Blood Brothers Podcast, a Five Pit is a Mad Monolith production. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers and sisters and welcome to another episode of the Blood Brothers Podcast. I'm your host today, Aki Hussain, and I have with me my blood brother. Dili Hussain, assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Now brothers and sisters, we've been on a roll lately, as you've seen, we have special guests and today's no different. We are honoured to have with us brother Omar Isa. Yeah. How, how, how was that bro was that you got a good voice mashallah was that good yeah alhamdulillah you got a really good voice you know it is okay i wanted to uh I, i flirted with the idea of a music career when i was a bit younger i'm 28 now something like maybe 13 14 people this told me that my lyrics were too hard they were too deep oh really so yeah i allowed it and i did physiotherapy instead oh, okay yeah you used to like usher and craig david back in the day didn't you? who didn't a uh, craig david actually got me into singing oh, what right? yeah bro I was actually I was going to ask you that at some point, but yeah, I think I could be. I heard from all the time that he comes to Islam. Inshallah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, I think everyone when Craig when Craig David was hot, he was hot. Is that where the whole plat look came from? You remember you posted a pic from back in the day? No, not really. No, no, no. I was uh, no, not really. No. no. So that that wasn't inspired at all by Craig no, David. Actually, no. The thing is that my manager told me look as far away from not being a South Asian as you can. Oh yeah. God. So it was kind of in in the in the music industry as you probably know, they don't really think we're cool. No. So you, so I had to come across like I was West Indian. Mm. Oh, Cause yeah, cause a lot of culture borrowed from the West Indian community when it comes to cool music, yeah. um, and, and and getting attention in that sense. Yeah, definitely. They, you know they're they're quite they're heavy in it kind of thing. So that's why I did it really. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess our appeal is just like terrorism, groomers, and pervs, isn't it? Which is sad, really. Yeah, I mean, it's like, really, yeah, 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 it doesn't. It's not going to make a good album cover, is it? To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so brother, you know, um, welcome. To our we're really really excited to have you here Thanks, um we always ask our guests um whether they've come to these neck of the woods before in the uk have you have you visited bedford before because we are hardcore bedfordians we love bedford people ask me sometimes i bumped into a friend who said i never knew you in bedford i said i live and die in bedford have you come to bedford before yeah i was here in january 2016 for an event okay that's the only time i've come to bedford that was the event that was in the community center in bedford I think was it? it no i think no i think it was a hotel Oh, really? It was um, um, Musa Maid. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I remember 2015. Yes, I do actually remember. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. But did you know that the Bedford's area code is 01234? No, I didn't. Don't you think that's quite fascinating? It's quite cool. Yeah, it's quite cool. Genuinely? Because many area codes have random series of numbers, but 01234 is quite. That's the one, bro. 0208, I'm London, so. 01234. That's much better. So, brother, I wanted to ask you, yeah? <clears throat> Um, you're a very, very popular Nasheed artist, alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Your music is very, very popular. You had um, uh, your single come out recently, Nika. Yes. Congratulations, yeah. five year anniversary, I believe. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. May Allah give you a long life and Amin. a long, Amin. strong marriage together. Amin. Amin. And, uh, and make you happy in this life and so much more happier in the next. Amin. Amin, Amin Rabbil Alameen. Um, so tell me, what got you into music? What got you into uh, music and then obviously Nasheed specifically? Uh, so basically what was happening when I was, uh, when I was, uh, I dropped out of school. So I dropped out. Um, I didn't do my GCSEs. I just dropped out. And what happened was I went to America. I actually went, I moved to America for about three years. I was working there. My dad had a lo- little convenience store, like okay. a 7-Eleven. Huh. So what happened, it was, it's, it was probably one of the worst experiences of my life. The area that I was in, it was, it was absolutely horrible. And I remember I was thinking to myself, I'm really, am I really assigning myself to this life? So what happened, when I came back, I kept coming back to England, like, you know, for little breaks and all that. And uh, it was around 2000 and it's 2007, mm. 2000, yeah, 2006, 2007, I, I was watching The X Factor and um, I started singing along to a song. Okay. Uh, and my friends were sitting there and they just go, when did you learn how to sing? And I went, I looked at them and went, yeah, whatever, right? You know, with your friends and all that. And they went, no, seriously, when did you learn how to sing? And I went, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I haven't, I just sang. I don't know what you're talking about. And then it was literally, I was doing nothing with my life. So I thought, I went into the, I went into the Google, I went, I went into internet, Yahoo, at the time I was searching on Yahoo, and I went finding a music teacher. Okay. To just a vocal teacher, right? So this is 2011? 2007. Seven, sorry, yeah. 2007. 2006, 2007. <clears throat> and I went to the, vo- the vocal teacher and they were just talking, talking, talking. And it was an introduction thing. And right yeah. at the end, uh, it, it was a white lady and she goes to me, all right, can you sing something for me? So she started writing notes for me. And as I started singing, she stopped writing and she <clears> just looked at me and, and I was like, okay, damn, they lied to me. 
yeah so um and then the lady and then when i stopped she goes you told me you've never sang before yeah oh yeah i haven't i haven't sang before she went no you're lying Go on, Omar. Yeah, she goes, you've got all the moves and all the things. Jeez. Like, Come okay. on. Jeez. I was like, I'm just going to do this for a career. <laughs> yeah, 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 Why not? Why not? So okay, so that was 2006, 2007, yeah? yeah? yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about, you know, the journey that you went through during that period where you were like, you know what, you got this feedback from people. Yeah. You've got a really, really good voice. You've never done this before. You must be lying. Mm. What The trajectory from then to maybe three or four years later, family, friends, how did it start to really pick up? So what happened was in 2007, then I basically walked into a shop to buy a guitar and there was like a, a card there saying community college music. Yeah. And I thought, that's interesting. Picked it up and it said, submit a demo uh-huh. to come into the college. So I thought, I need to get something under my belt with, when it comes to education. My mum my and dad are already disappointed with me. Mm. So let me do so. I, I got, went to PC World, got a £10 software, had a little computer at home, got a guitar, plugged it in, <laughs> microphone, £10 microphone, whatever I could afford really sang wrote one of the first songs I did called Name and I sent it off to them what inspired that song? Um, I don't know you don't I know I really don't have a clue I was a huge fan of you know Michael Jackson Stevie Wonder and all that mm-hmm. Curtis Mayfield Craig David and all that so I thought let me be a little bit more artistic I was trying to be probably a little bit more little you know niche and all that yeah so I did, I <laughs> yeah 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 sent it <laughs> they came back to me saying we want to interview you so they said bring your guitar with you I didn't even know how to play the guitar I just knew I had a few little chords and all that so when I started strumming in front of them as well two ladies again they went oh you've got a really really good voice and we, we want to give you a place here and I went cool so from there I actually got into university Westminster Smashed and then it. I d- did a degree a congratulations music and media and at that time I got signed by um, my manager who was Maxi Priest's okay. manager wow. yeah. Raghav yeah yeah of course yeah. 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 yeah yeah he was it. he was his manager and he well, signed I was a big fan of Raghav as yeah, well at the time well, yeah. he dropped two tunes we came on Channel U back in the day, remember Channel yeah, U? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he went missing. Yeah. Yeah. No, he had one good album, you know. Did he? Yeah, full album. I mean, even three singles, three singles from that album went. He had a, what was his first tune? Was it Confused? Oh, was it that? Mm-hmm. 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 Baby mm-hmm. 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 Confused. Yeah, that one. That you know what's that one. a funny story about that? May Allah, I'm not obviously exposing what my past was, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me. I mean, I wasn't in the deen, right? Only connection I had to the deen was my, my mother and father. Mm. And I went out a night out once and Raga was going to come. And we were there and it was a packed like place. And uh, he started, around that time, um, Eid and Diwali were at the same time. Okay. Mm. So he's on the stage and goes, happy Diwali. Literally three people. Went yay, and I went okay. There's not many Indian Hindus here. Then he goes Eid Mubarak. The place went Mad- crazy. Oh my! And you know the thing is, me, I wasn't even. I had still a little bit in me to go. A stuck for a lot. That's a remnant of Gira. Yeah, 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 yeah a little bit. But then I looked at myself. Went, I'm in the same place. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it was he stole that, my line. It was, it was that kind of manner. So going back to my manager, it was going well to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, Music wise, I started getting playlisted on BBC One Extra, mm-hmm. uh, Kiss FM, uh, Choice when it was Choice, and all the other radio stations. In the music game, you have to be the DJs have to co-sign you. Mm. So it's not like. Um, the Nasheed world, for example, where you can put something on YouTube. It's probably now you can, mm. but then you had to go through the DJs, radio DJs. So yeah. everybody, and you have a plugger, a radio plugger. So I put out one single, got good traction off that. Put out a second one, which was even better. And then that was actually during 2010, 2011. Was your stage name, was, was the name Omar Issa? No, no. What no. was it? I don't tell anybody my stage name. I'll give a saying, innit? I'll tell you guys off. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. You know I'm an investor to Jenga. I'm going to find <laughs> You'll find out. You can find out. That's fine. Gonna, uh, okay, okay. okay so do you I'm, remember your first gig? Oh, subhanAllah. I do, actually. I, okay. I, I, I performed at... Uh, uh, Oh, what, what, what did I do? Uh, it was, uh, uh, they do it, it's, uh, you know, um, H- Hindus uh, do something, they do every... Holy? Every, no, they do something else, they dance with dandia sticks. Okay. Oh, I know what you're talking oh, about, where they, where they they pair up and they yeah, they have this yeah, dancing yeah, routine yeah, with the sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. But I, I've, uh, well, that's why I don't forgive I mean, me. I mean, I mean, I mean. They paid me £10 as well. They were very tight. Oh, serious? Um, yeah, it was my first, kind of, but it was a favour as well. Okay. That, and then all of a sudden I was singing and it was but, a very, very, £10. very, very miserable crowd. Mad, yeah. mad. <laughs> but let me, let me ask you something, normal, yeah. 
And uh, look, as I said to you before the podcast, yeah, man, don't mean any offense or nothing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, when you obviously, I'm assuming, I mean, I've, I've heard previous interviews and stuff how you kind of left the the mainstream music game and and and, and became more in tune with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and the religion, and, and you kind of moved away from that, right? But as you entered the Nasheed game, mm-hmm. right? Do you find that the, the Nasheed music or industry of today has become very feminine? And, and that's not disrespect to your particular voice, by the yeah, way. Yeah, anything like that, yeah? Yeah. It, it's because classically speaking, yeah. so in the Islamic tradition, Nashid was something very masculine. Yeah. Right? It was something in fact some scholars back in the day, they actually discussed the issue of not encouraging men with effeminate voices to yeah. sing Nasheeds. Okay. But in this day and age, yeah. it's become a thing now. Mm-hmm. Can you do your can you do your version of what that famous Nasheed? Oh mountains of Mecca. It's something yeah. like that, yeah. Okay. But but but, but, that, that, but to be honest, uh, Zayn Bika, that's 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 his voice. Yeah. That's that's how he sings. Yeah. Um and I think like just to no, touch, I'm Sammy Yus, and just touch on, and just touch I, I, on your point, when you said it's become a thing, becoming a thing suggests that it's a voice that people are putting on. Yeah. In order to be successful as singers, I don't think that's the issue. I, I do not I... think that Zayn Bika speaks like that, bro. Well, I don't know. I've never spoken to him. But... Omar, we're speaking to Omar right now. His yeah. voice doesn't necessarily sound like how he sings. <laughs> no, but, but but you can see that it's similar. You can it's, people ha- people don't talk like they're singing when they're buying yeah. Yeah. things over the counter. No, but the point but... I'm trying to make is, I just feel sometimes, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying that every nashid should be like a jihadi military nashid. I'm just no. saying that I feel. But those men have good voices, though. You won't dispute that. It's just like Quran recitation, right? Yeah. You will have. Some people that have very, very melodious voices yes. and recitation. Uh, Abu Bakr Shatri, for example, very fam- famous reciter, he has a voice that's very, very melodious, very sweet, very soft. Yeah. Um, but then you have uh, Ahmed Ali Al Ajmi, yeah. who has very, very strong, harsh voice, but it's still very melodious, very yeah, beautiful. But B, the point I'm trying to make is on my yeah. I, I, I just feel this is my observation. I just feel it's, it's just become. I'll 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 tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. You have to, you have to look at the kind of, um, kind of the platform that music's in at the moment. Every, yeah. if you look at the from from the time that you know we were younger we we used to be big fans of michael jackson right yeah. and michael jackson is the biggest pop star probably ever ever and his voice is uh like that feminine right yeah. that's right and yeah. then you got then you got people who followed him but right? he spoke uh, like that as well yeah but then did you ever hear him when he used to sing with the hard tone no, he had a hard tone. Did he? Because he, he could switch it up, yeah. His vocal teacher is called Seth Riggs. And yeah, he yeah, yeah. Does, he used to put that vocal on it. When he used to talk, uh. he used to put it on a lot because it's kind of his persona, the innocent Michael Jackson and all that kind of stuff. I mm. see. And then you have uh, you have Stevie Wonder. Stevie yeah, Wonder's yeah. voice is very so. So it's actually it's normal to our ears now, if that makes sense. Barry White and Luther Vandross were really big as well, and they had big voices, right? But I think it's just what sound is cool. Like the artists who are around now, for example, who are big in the mainstream world, you'd get a Bruno Mars, yeah, yeah. you get a Justin Bieber, for example, yeah, yeah. Craig David, everyone's got that vocal. So I don't think people are copying them. I think it's people are more used to that kind of sound. It's more, it's more feminine and it's more... Then it, then it, it, it marries better people with sing singing. About, people sing a lot about love, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game, right? Yeah. And it's that kind of aspect. And you can't be drilling music. about love. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, drill music. Yeah. And then it's obviously other kinds of drilling, which can be pertaining to love, but obviously. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, listen. The point I'm trying to make is, the point I'm trying to make is, um, it is still a kind of imitation of the mainstream, though. Is it not? Well, I can only go by myself, right? And when I when I started singing, I could only sing how I could sing. If okay. that makes sense. Yeah. So I had no other way to sing. Does that make sense? So I don't I don't necessarily me I don't know what it is actually. I don't know why people think it's why people uh, like the people who are uh, a Justin Timberlake or an Usher. Mm-hmm. Why do people like these people so much? I right? crack it up because these are all these people. Let's be honest. Like, <laughs> just just these, like people, the, these people were my people. They're huge stars for a reason. I wasn't, I wasn't the only person buying okay, the album. I listen to them a lot as well. Okay, yeah, look, exactly. for example, for example, sure yes, for example if, uh, in a hypothetical scenario, if someone said to me, right, did you sing this song, right? Naturally, this this voice comes on. But, <laughs> and I don't, so, so, so what, what do you think? That's because he can't sing. No. no. No, it's not no. Let's be honest, yeah. My brother, he cannot sing. It's it's dangerous out here. When, when one one of my one of my mates here, yeah, routine when we're at work and he'll if the radio's on or he'll he'll start singing or humming a tune and, and he's like, Aki, remember this tune, yeah? And he starts singing, I'll be like, I don't, you're talking. You could be reading a paragraph out of the newspaper, bro. I can't tell the difference to be honest. So with in Diddy's case, 
he has to put on some type of voice that can remotely be associated with singing. That's probably true, bro. Otherwise, it's so the yeah. second ago when you started singing, you actually put on the face and everything changed. It's mad, yeah, the body, is everything. So that's the thing, then, isn't it? Maybe it must be your thing. Yeah, that's the thing. So, so, so back to what Dilly mentioned about um, be, it being similar to the mainstream music, popular artists that we're all aware of. Yeah, yeah. You did a, a, a wonderful cover of Adele's "Hello." Yes. Um, Allah. Yeah. 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 And um, so obviously you you were inspired. I, I imagine I mean, when you do covers, generally speaking, if you go on YouTube, people do covers because they really like a certain song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, why? What would you say from the perspective of why uh, do I do covers? Not covers, but like the whole idea of I did a cover of a song yeah. from Adele, yeah. and she's one of the biggest artists in the world. Yeah. Um, why that? Uh, firstly, if I can just tell you why I do covers, because people yeah. somehow a lot of people don't know why I do covers. Why I do covers is because um, I don't. There is no record label to support someone like me mm -hmm. uh, uh, the instrument guys have got a record label I'm not going to mention the record label mm -hmm. but they have got a record label to go to if they wanted to pursue um, instrument based faith based music mm -hmm. right when you say instrument guys you mean the guys who make nasheeds and use instruments, instruments yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. so they have a, a somewhere to go to sure I haven't ah. because uh, I we've had discussions actually in the previous with people who are instrument based record labels and they're like no because when it comes to Muslims sometimes Muslims we can't we can't separate our ideology and like what's happening if that makes sense so mm -hmm. if someone believes that instruments are halal mm. and I come to them I don't even need to speak to them they will automatically come to me and start defending instruments and I go I didn't even talk to you about it mm. I'm not a poster child for mm. uh, like non-music. Mm. Thanks for the thing, but I didn't even say anything to you. Uh -huh. So straight away, they'll come to me and try to justify. I'm like, bro, why are you justifying yourself? I do covers because it's a marketing tool for me. Yeah. Majority of Muslims listen to music. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Yeah, yeah. So if I, if I do a cover, um, Muslims fall over themselves to listen to it. But I'm 90% of my music is original content. I've only done seven covers. I was just about to say that. And, and it was, it was a, a kind of recent thing, wasn't it? Well, my first cover I did was Aisha. Do you yeah. remember Outland? Yeah, 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 yeah. Aisha, run yeah. the yeah. other yeah. 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 I love it. Body switch. Do you see that? Yeah, you're literally, it changes. Yeah. You have like a music gin that goes inside you. <laughs> just to let you know, I have a version for um, uh, Mufuba, my wife. What, of Aisha? <laughs> Yeah, okay, we've done. No, no, but like a like one because it's, it's three, uh, it's a syllable, it's three syllables. Yeah, that's what it's Aisha, yeah, three syllables. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Aisha was the first cover I did, yeah. But I didn't ever, I never listened to Hello from beginning to end. Mm. I'm a musician, so if you give me anything right now, I'll be able to sing it to you. Allah's given me this. Oh. A, a thing I could read off a, a menu, anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed me to do this. So I can pick up melodies quickly. Mm. So people literally get vexed with me. They're like, you listened to the whole song and you did it. I'm like, I, I actually didn't. I actually didn't. I could pick it up and I did my I did my thing on it and you know. So how much of so how much did you actually listen of, of let's say Adele? I heard it everywhere. It was one of the biggest tracks at the time. Of course it was massive. When you're gonna you're gonna stumble around, upon it. When I was walking around I heard it everywhere. You could be in a I shop. was watching TV and there were I've never seen a song being promoted on an advert. Yeah. And, yeah, and it came in with Hello and I was mm. like, Right. Oh, straight away when I heard it, because I appreciate good sound, I went, That sounds sick. Well it's Adele, you know? to be fair. And then in my mind I thought to myself, Who is the artist? And then it came a door, I went, oh, okay, it's Adele. So she's a big artist and all that. And then I heard it everywhere, bro. Every and you know what? This is the madness. I wrote it, recorded it, filmed it in eight hours. Smashed it. So it wasn't even kind of a big thought behind no, it. No, no, no. That's how all my covers were. Even the, day. the My Heart Will Go On. Mm. I went in the booth and I started singing it just for jokes. And my producer goes, That sounds good, you know. And I went, You you're serious? I recorded it there and then. And then we went to the studio, filmed it, and released it. That's mad. That is mad. Covers are, covers are easy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're marketing tools for me. Because yeah. mm -hmm. like, it exposes me to the majority of Muslims who listen to uh, Fair um, music in general, yeah. yeah. Could you like do something with Blood Brothers? Yeah, let me know. I'll definitely do something for you guys, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, can we, do you think we can do like a, a duo or something like? Yeah, whatever you. Can yeah, be you know, Adi, that was speaking one of your one of your nashees, but he'd had to literally speak, literally, literally just speak, speak. literally yeah. spoke. Honestly, yeah. we asked him. Not did you to. try? Did you try to like? We tried our best <laughs> to convince <laughs> him to do, do something creative. No, we did. Honestly, we went brothers. Yeah. You did the yeah. 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 a real monotone. Yeah, he just did last week's khutbah. 
he literally did the chutzpah on the track machine. Musa, Musa had the feel to it. Yeah, I mean, he oh, even oh. had his Miami Vice t- yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, he did. Yeah, yeah. On that subject, yeah, um, you know, you have done some nasheeds on some really, really serious issues. Yeah. Yes. So you did one post uh, Christchurch uh, disaster that happened there. Um, and Where is the love one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Syria, I did Syria as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course, of course. Yeah. And um, and the nasheed that you did with Musa and Ali yeah. um, was addressing some serious issues. Oh, well. generally, generally speaking, it was it was yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. it was yeah. targeting. It was targeting our, our young Muslims. It was targeting Dean Squad. Yeah, yeah. 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 nothing to hide about. At the end of the day, I always say to people, look, if you use instruments and uh, you're my brother, I love mm-hmm. you for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Um, there shouldn't be an issue if I say. Don't use instruments. I don't understand why people get so uptight about it, right? I've had people when I've written, I wrote once the status, I wrote, yes or no? I just said, say, tell me yes or no. Would the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sit in a gathering where there was instruments being played? Mm. I just said, I don't want an essay, yes or no. Mm. And they got vexed. So many people got vexed to me, artists, managers, and this guy and that guy got private messages. You, you know, and I was like, what is wrong with you people? Like, I can have my opinion. I've done my research. That's why I've left instruments and all that kind of so stuff. So on the issue, of so, did you, so did you put that? Did sorry, you put sorry. that? No, no, I don't have to apologize. I'm not going to talk anyway. Um, uh, did Did you put that status out for a reason? Did you want to get a reaction? Did you no, want to? Oh, in a question. You really? It you you wanted to hear from the other side? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So and did you get? Did you get any responses that seemed? Majority, okay, was, you know? majority was saying, of course he wouldn't, right? Yeah. But then the other guys who got really upset, you know, at the end, and to be honest with you, the guys who got upset. We a reason, you know, you you talk it out, you know, you talk. Yeah. We're brothers, and mm. we talk about, and that's why I say is that there is enough music in the world, mm-hmm. yeah. To be very, if I was a a, 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 a not a nasheed right, yeah. and I was just a normal guy who was just living my life, didn't know about the instrument, uh, the instrument thing in the dean, I would not listen to nasheeds because Ed Sheeran is much more talented than everybody who does well, instrument nasheeds. We spoke about it not too long. We said, if given a choice between Nasheed artists of today and just mainstream music, you listen to mainstream. You didn't do mainstream music. Yeah, of course, exactly. mainstream music it's because, is, it's, it's yeah, because, yeah, it's because yeah, the yeah. pool of talent out there and the variation of music and yeah. the things that you can find that you specifically like is endless. Yeah, yeah. they could talk about anything really. Of course, and the, yeah. and, and and obviously because it's the larger talent pool as well. Yeah, you know, you're yeah, talking yeah. about like Ed Sheeran. I'm not saying that Nasheed artists with instruments are not talented. They're very talented. Oh, for sure. But I'm saying me personally, um, I feel that. Imagine if we created a whole industry that we were doing vocal only and we did it in a big way where supposedly and then we can start charting together. Mm. We can start promoting it to non-Muslims and people will love it, man. But obviously they want to do that. That's fine. I, I respect their opinion. It's not my opinion. And I obviously so, I, so, so I'm just strong on, in my opinion. So just on that point, yeah. so, so when you posted that status and you said you did your research and you said you respect their opinion, does that mean via your research into this ruling yes. that there is... Some ikhtilaf in the issue? No, I don't. I've done. I've spoken to lots of people. Spoke to shayukhs. I talked with a lot of shayukhs. I've spoken to all of them behind closed doors. They don't even say it publicly, which is a shame. Now they go. There is no. There is no. There is a little difference of opinion, but it's not it, majority. Majority. Even they would say stay away from it. You know, one of the um, imams they say Imam Ghazali. Right? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. say that he used to agree mm. with it. That's one of their things as well. Yeah. I've read. I'm reading a book at the moment. Oh, man, that's why I forgot. One of his Slippery, No, it's called Slippery Stone. Mm. It's about instruments and all that yeah. and even Imam Ghazali did not agree with stringed instruments even and that's the kind of uh, excuse my kind of phrase but the poster kind of thing they use and all mm. this kind of stuff so even he didn't agree with it what about uh, beats beats that are made digitally what would be what do you mean like if you like even just just the sound that you electronic, you, beats. electronic beats that you can form through apps and no, programs and software it's it, music isn't it is it still music yeah, music, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm even, from your opinion it's still um, considered yeah, yeah, I'm, in my opinion I'm not the I'm not the authority on this I'm just going by what I've yeah from your understanding see, look, I'm a very very simple guy my brothers like if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu so, alayhi wa sallam said so, stay away from it I just live my life like that so I don't really, Alhamdulillah I, I don't I respect every scholar you're but very I, pious Huh? You're very pious. No, no, trust me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trust me. What do you think? He's going to come moonwalking in with a microphone around <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just saying that. Look, the point I'm trying to make is if you take the hadith about the stringed instruments, yeah. right? Which, by the way, from my limited reading, yeah. there is some dispute regarding to the strength of that hadith. Are you talking about the one in Bukhari? The yeah. one where halal become. Yes. Yes. Sorry, haram will become halal. Yes. Yeah. So the point I'm trying to make is if you take that literally, yeah. Then it's just stringed instruments. So yeah. what about non-stringed instruments or non-stringed uh, sounds? Like what? Like drum, Ele- like electronic beats. 
Like a drum kit like or a, a drum flute. Kit. That's not, that's or not a flute thing. or sax. No, flute is not a prim- permissible. I mean, we've even had examples of uh, the flute at the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where um, Abdullah Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu was going and he put his, in his uh, hands in his ears and it was a flute being played. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. actually a big... Uh, that's he, right. And then the companion with him said, why are you covering your ears? And he said, because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did the same enough. thing. Now, that's actually a hadith that, you know, the people who use instruments use and say, see, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't say didn't say to the other Sahaba, stop. He just disliked it. He didn't him. But, he didn't now, himself. But, but, but now here's, here's where the research, if you research into it. That's right. They say that the person who was with Abdullah ibn Umar yeah. was a child. Mm. So a child is not affected as we are. Like, for example, children mm. are different. So there's lots of kind of kind of debate on that. As in, like, his nafs that. wouldn't be affected in the yeah, same way yeah, by yeah, the music. Yeah, yeah. And even, um, uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, subhanAllah, it's uh, my memory is gone. Uh, Surah Luqman, Ayah 6, okay. you know, where Lawl al Hadith, where mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and uh, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu has done that tafsir on it. Yeah. And he has said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about evil speech mm. and the use of uh, instruments, right? Okay. Now, a lot of people dispute that. Mm. But the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua mm. for Ibn Abbas radiallahu mm. anhu, said, Oh Allah, please allow Ibn Abbas mm. to understand your words better than anybody. Yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah, just the yeah, mark, one right? of the biggest mufassas of all time. That's what I'm saying. So we can't dispute that. We can't argue about it. Look, there's probably people who will watch this who will disagree with me completely. And I and I'm your brother, and I love you for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I'm not saying I'm not starting a war with anybody. No, I'm just saying let's sit down, let's work together. Yeah, for let's sure. Let's work together. Let's actually come to a basis where we can work together as brothers, mm-hmm. and we can actually. Take over because we've got a lot of talent. We've got a lot of talent, and I believe we can compete yeah. with these Ed Sheerans and mm. these. You reckon? Yeah, of course, man. It Obviously, because you're you're in the scene, yeah. So you've come, you've probably stumbled across a lot of talented Muslims, yeah. young Muslims, old whatever, who've got really, really good voices, yeah? yeah. So you're telling me that there's 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 some there's some good talent out yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Look, when I was doing music back in the day, I could have I could have done a project with Arful Dodger, but I didn't do it because my brother gave me some wrong advice. Yeah. But I, I guess Allah saved me. If Alhamdulillah. You, yeah. I got a song into Bollywood, oh. but the guy the the guy who did the deal wanted me to sign a four album deal. Mm. My brother was with me, and, and another one of my other brothers, and he told me not to sign the deal. So I was upset with him at the time. But Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Right? Alhamdulillah. And it was a big Bollywood. That it was Mahesh Bhatt. They were they the leaders. Massive. In, the leaders in music in yeah, 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 yeah. So if I if I go back into that world, I know what I can do. But I really, wallahi, I don't do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not for the people, bro. If it was for the people, I would have gone back to music a long time ago. Because yeah. people criticize me all the time. I can put a picture up of me covering my wife's face. Let me see your wife's face. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. that that was that mad hype that happened well, I think two years ago mm. on Facebook, wasn't it? What's that? Yeah. I think you posted something, there was a mad hype, but someone said, Why are you covering Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, it, yeah. something kicked off on Facebook, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, there was one picture I put when my wife had um, jeans on, mm. and there was covering her face. Brother, you can see the fig. I was, I actually, in my mind, I thought to myself, okay, yeah, cool, I can get that, but it was very far away. But I get criticised for everything. You can yeah. look at any one of my posts, and you will see someone will say something. There's always like Muslims everything. lurking. Oh, why, man? Lurking. Why are they so upset for, man? I, 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 I think there's an element of. I tell you what it is, yeah. I was reading Hussein Kasfani's book, uh, Follow Me, Akhi, yeah. He's mm. gonna be on our podcast in a week or so. And he spoke about this online culture, uh, especially amongst Muslims, where they take this concept of enjoining good, forbidding evil mm. to a next level. Yeah. Uh, whereas other Muslims just literally, just literally are just waiting for someone to make some kind of slip up for them to have a pop at you. Yeah. yeah right? Because yeah, yeah. I think, look, uh, on certain things, public advice. Is necessitated. It's yeah. is required. Yeah. If you're a public figure who's doing public stuff that can have negative ramifications on the on the community, then you should be advised publicly. Yeah. But on stuff like that, that ain't preventing you from just sending it on my Issa private message. Like, this is yeah, the yeah, issue, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's, 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 the, it's the idea that people think that they have they're enjoying good and forbidding evil, but there's so much more uh, appropriate means in which they can advise people. And obviously, when you're in the public figure, when you're a public figure yourself, yeah. and uh, and you're and you're popular. Yeah. The people love it yeah because because it means that they get clocked more as well yeah especially when you give them traction back and that's right a lot of people say don't say anything and all that but sometimes you just have to say something you yeah. have to say listen what are you talking about like it makes no sense to me what you're talking recently what's obviously i've heard what's happened with the these two uh the that that's couple yeah and all all that. And by the way we name dropped it on this podcast we yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I genuinely forgot the guy's name uh, yeah, yeah yeah and he I mean, funnily enough his name is hasanat yeah yeah 
Who's, it's, who's the, the brother's name is my, my guy who's in, who's in this issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he did it. So they were there. All of a sudden, when I put the picture up, I'm promoting my Nikana shit for goodness sake, mm. right? I put a picture of me and my wife on our wedding day. Brother, have you seen what's recently happened? Mm. What has that got to do with my life? I'm not a fake, mm. I'm a Muslim. Mm. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm a Muslim. I fear Allah. Mm. I don't know what their kind of thing is, but don't associate every Muslim. You can't do that. Mm. You can't associate every Muslim couple with every other Muslim couple. Absolutely. So, what was the suggestion that because you put a picture of you and your wife together? Yo, you that, know what, yeah, you know what happened recently, and you know, da, 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 what, you know, who? Stop this Muslim couple stuff. Yeah. yeah? Is that what it was? It was wild, isn't it? Even, even on Because the, there were the other Muslim couple that I mean, got a lot of heat. I mean, on Yusuf. Yeah. Talking, and Yusuf. Who, who are do, they? Where are they from? They, they, so, they, they were like, they also do like these Instagram remarks. Minders, right? And I'll tell you something, brother. And again, he's a practicing brother, and she wears niqab and all these things. Okay. But so, but as on paper, they look identical as, as like Muslim couple. They're from niqabi. England. They're from England, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm in a news on Instagram. They're wicked, and, and and their content is day and night difference to let's say Umar Abdullah and Hassanat. Like my guy will just come and just drop hadith, drop drop Quranic verses, no kind of funny intimacy and excessive joking, none of that. Mm. But because the image of a bearded brother and a niqabi wife together doing, do, together doing reminders on Instagram, they were yeah. linked. For no reason. Now that is so bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's of course it's 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 bro. Of course it is. Why it's does that happen? Mm. What, we're, what, we're not individual. Mm. Okay. People are it's wild. Like, People are wild out there on social media. People just see it as. Oh my God, there is this fear that there is this huge scandal happening of a Muslim uh, of a Muslim couple and they've completely let us all down. And they're all in on the it. Over our they're eyes. all in on it. Yeah. And do you know what? They, they can see it in two ways. Don't trust any of you lot. Mm. Or you're taking advantage of that platform by now also using that imagery as well. Beard, niqab. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think that's, that's what it's crazy. It's I, crazy. I think that's where you got a mad reaction from Hijab and Ali as well. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, I haven't spoken to him since. But one of the things I got Brother, is that... you're right. Just let me do my thing, man. Uh, so hey, one, big numbers today. Yeah, so the, the kind of reaction that you got, yeah, especially from hijab, I, I understood that. Obviously, as brothers who are giving... Someone showed me one of the clips of that Mortal yeah. Kombat. Yeah, you're finished. finished. Yeah. You're finished. You're finished. finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finished. You're finished. Why are you finished? But it was like Mortal Kombat. I was like... It was, it was finishing. finishing. And, and it's going deep part. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, one the, <laughs> I think one of the reasons why you got that reaction was because the brothers are on YouTube, online. They're doing their thing. Yeah. And when you have someone else within that same space that's gone and defrauded people or mm. allegedly gone and defrauded people, there's mm. damning evidence, they need to kind of clear the name for the sake of the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's the same thing I would guess if someone was uh, an online Muslim journalist or an online Muslim media outlet, they were publishing fake news or, or, or news that wasn't verified. Yeah. I guess we'd have to come out as five pillars and say, listen, of course. hold up. Yeah. We're separate to these people uh, because they're, they're, they're pumping out. So I think it's a form of protecting your own industry. It is because... Protecting your own circles and spaces. There's an overlap, like, isn't there? Because because they're both YouTube figures, mm. and they're, and in a in a very specific incident, they both raise money. Yeah, mm. so so you'll have you'll have Muslim YouTubers who raise money for a, a worthy cause, yeah, yeah. and similarly this couple yeah. they raise money yeah. they said for a worthy cause, yeah. and therefore it causes problem now, doesn't it? Yeah, because you've gone and and, and broken the trust of the Muslim community. Yeah, how are we now going to? Again, next week, ask the Muslims to raise money for us yeah. for as well Rohingya or yeah. for Syria yeah. or for Sudan or whatever. So it's yeah. like you've gone and done this, you've broken so much trust. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. we're stuck. Yeah. You know, the thing for me is I believe that in, in, in our community, Muslim community, we do deserve to have uh, uh, brothers and sisters who do... Um, share not their love completely online but a little bit of it we need a little bit of a moderation because we need our youth to look up to somebody who are good people we, we've got people looking up to rap artists raps all these guys and they're it's filth mm -hmm. and kids get bro everybody out there you go out there right now you know the youth what's happening they'll they'll if drake came they will run over themselves to get to that guy. For sure. And he throws up the six all the time. What is he throwing up the six mm. for? We know what he throws up the six mm. for. Six God. These mm. guys call themselves gods. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. And we don't, we, that's my duty, is to give them an option, inshallah, where mm. they can listen inshallah. to stuff which is cool. And go, you know what? We don't need to listen to a Drake or we can listen to this artist or that artist. But as long as we're doing it in the confines of the deen of Islam, that's why I believe that with this, this couple that did it, I think Muslim couples who are doing it, like, you know, like you said, that brother, may Allah increase them. I mean, I mean, I mean we I need mean. it. Yeah, Check yeah. them out. They're actually pretty yeah, sick. Oh, they, they are, they are. Because, yeah. because at first, at first when, when, me, when me and the missus were going through like, because we, we're flicking through Instagram and, and, and we saw 
Allah has not I didn't really feel the flex You know I didn't feel the flex from day one you know that No from day two I didn't feel it from day because one this is this is like at least 2 from, years before what, anything Wallahi, this is, wallahi but, I'm not saying this because you guys said it someone showed me a clip as well I got a really bad energy look, man. Yeah. The, the, the way I, I say it is that there's really there's, certain, there's you know touchiness I'm kidding about there's limits to that Yeah yeah Cuz yeah, you yeah. know yeah. cuz as Muslims you know when it that Well they doing that kind of stuff touching all that touching yeah, They were just just they, they, they were just oh, overly wow. Friendly as a couple publicly. Well, that must be really popular if this has happened. Well, but there was massive. Well, he's got. He had nine hundred thousand Instagram followers. She had six hundred thousand. Obviously, it's plummeted now. But combined, they had over one and a half million. Wow. And then when the second wife joined, when the second wife joined, uh, it was two point seven million. Yeah. So all come. So you. So, yeah. So you. Yeah. No, oh, you really not been following this, have you? Oh, no, he's not. He's got, yeah, too much. I try not to follow much of the, that kind of madness. I, you know what? With me, bro. Honestly. And I don't want anyone to get offended by this, but when I meet Shayos, mm. I don't ever listen to him online again. Mm. Reason being because I met them, mm. so I, I kind of like you know when you know what's happening in the game and all that. So I just I just listen to people who are not really known. Okay. Uh, not anything against the people who are really popular out there, mm. but you know for me it's like I don't want to I don't I, I've never been like that. My whole life I've never been like that. Uh, where you know when people, attach your personalities yeah I'd never do that because I, I the only th- personality is Craig David Mayall the guy into the I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Uh, he's one guy when I went to his gig once I touched his shoulder yeah so, did you wash your how long did you wash your hands for no when I wash my hands oh, yeah, I didn't know what okay. to yeah no I was not practicing <laughs> but when you eventually made what <laughs> <laughs> but look um, you know the whole kind of online sphere yeah yeah like i was checking out your youtube channel yesterday bare subscribers alhamdulillah, bare, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Bare, bare, increase it i mean I uh bare views on the videos and that right you know, you know when you're in that online sphere right yeah, yeah. whether you like to acknowledge it or not mm-hmm. there is some kind of tacit competition and i, exp- and I explain what i mean yeah. by that yeah you you're in the you're in the youtube space yeah you're getting much more, lots of subscribers like i think it's about 300,000 or 700,000 which one is it not 700 not yet 300,000 near 300,000 loads of millions of views up comes along let's say Dean Squad yes who are getting similar traction but you feel quite strongly against their content yeah like running through the masjid in my throat allow it bro okay I'm just just shocked when I heard that one why are they running through why don't they stop and pray but it's just mad because <laughs> anyway it's just again reflective of the North American thing for, for what not what we're talking about go to episode one of Blood Brothers podcast it's a mad thing bro yeah it is. it's a mad thing it so is, so, so when you're in that sphere and you've got people who are kind of within your your industry and your kind of thing and they and you feel that they're doing something which is not right yeah. right sometimes it's clear cut haram yeah other time it's them just adopting very fringe or, or minority opinions yeah I think then what requires is that you need to sometimes come out yeah. Of your safety net And you're like You know what Start calling man out yeah, yeah Which is what that That issue with you Musa and Ali was you, about You know, you know what, what was my thing Was that I, They were obviously Out before that right mm. And I really don't pay attention uh, uh, you, If you knew me You know I don't really Pay attention to people What they're doing Let them do their thing yeah. It's their relationship With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Right mm. um, I tried to counter it With my art But anyway mm. What happened was I, Someone sent me a clip Where they were talking About the salaf Yeah 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 And they were talking about yep. They were promoting um, uh, You know yeah, They were promoting Other sex You know Of the deen And in my mind I thought to myself of the youth that follow you are very impre- impressionable. That's very, right. That's very. Right. We had to, I had to then counter that yeah. and say there is no, there is no, not not only Allah didn't say anything about Allah. Allah said stay away from music. Prophet Muhammad said stay away Thank from you. music. The four uh, Imams of the Deen said. So who are you talking about? Mm. So then we had, to, and then also the other aspect of um, Ali radiallahu yeah, anh yeah. would never ever say mm. Ya Ali. We don't say yeah. that. We say Ya Allah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah and Ali radiallahu anh would actually get angry with you. Yeah, of course. You know. So I just, I just, I just got upset with that. And then we put it out, and then obviously um, Ali did his khutbah mm, on the no. track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Musa did his rap thing, yeah, uh-huh. and we did it on the kind of aspect of the only thing I regret is calling it Dean Squad. I wish I called it something else mm. because I think I gave them too much credibility. Yeah, because what happened was I had people telling me after that they were they were telling people. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me. Allah, I'm not going to mention the guy told me. He said that they were telling people they the guys who run them and all that. Yeah, yeah, they, you know to boost their kind of credibility. They're like, yeah, even though Maurice has done a track about us. Oh God, I about like, us. Yeah, I went. No, 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 no. It, wasn't <laughs> <laughs> it was, but it was actually even at the end we were actually cool though. At the end of the track we said, look, you're our brothers. Come, but I get it. I know that why they would be probably get a little bit like, you know, we're not going to talk to you, man, mm. now, all that kind of stuff. But it had to be, I guess. Has there been communication with with Dean Squad and you guys? Uh, never, no, I've never spoken to the guys. 
Okay. Never. I think Canada, they've never come or anything like that. A lot of people talk online, bro. Mm. I've never had anybody, believe it or not, come to me in my face mm. and say anything about my issues or anything like that. Online, yeah. But no one's ever come to me. Cool, cool. I mean, you must have a dangerous right hook or something, right? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe. yeah. yeah. Maybe. I, don't, I don't want to find Maybe. that anyway. So, but I wanted to uh, ask you about something that obviously in line with what's been happening recently with uh, Muslim couples and YouTube raising money and scandals and things like this. We had Ramadan just passed recently. Yeah. Charities um, will invite Nasheed artists yeah. um, for a dinner or yes. an event yes. and will sometimes pay a lot of money. You had a tour yourself in Ramadan. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Ramadan. Yes, with Ehsan. Yeah, yeah. With Ehsan. And, the, and uh, uh, the Haramain group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, brother, Abu yeah, yeah. Adam. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and they'll bring on popular Nasheed artists yeah. um, that will sometimes they'll give a fee upwards of tens of thousands of pounds. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, oh, yeah, yeah, six, yeah, figures, sometimes six figures, sometimes six figures, yeah. Mm. I haven't got that yet. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And, and we'll get to that in a Yeah, we'll find out. Cool, cool, cool. We'll still crunch the numbers. Dilly will find out. We'll crunch the numbers, yeah. Sometimes we call Dilly five squillers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he cried. So we crunch the numbers, but yeah. So you know, we, we've heard, we've heard, yeah, that sometimes the numbers could be astronomical for Muslims who are giving money to charity, and then yeah. they see, raw this is how much money's gone for the Nasheed artist. How do you feel about that? Like, do you, like when things like that have happened, yeah. do, do you feel it's justified? Do you think it's like, it's like morally well, justified? Well, I've heard that the people who get that money are the instrument guys. So obviously, you might be thinking, why is nobody paying that to the voice only guys? Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, uh, as a Nasheed artist, we don't really have any other platform. Nobody else, uh, we get, we perform at charity events. Uh, if we did a, a concert, um, it's difficult. For someone like me, I don't have a marketing budget to promote a, a concert if I do an event on my own, right? So charities is, is a way for us to get the name out there. Now, but there's boundaries, right? There's boundaries. I think what they should do, they can do that, but they should get private investors who are going to pay that money to the artist mm. instead of, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's not that they're taking the money and then, you know, the charity money and then, no, that's, the that's, tour, ex that's exactly that's, that's how you that's, pay for that's it. That's bad then. That's, that's bad. how you pay for it. Well, let me, so like, let's say a charity makes 15 million a year. Yeah, like John, let me give you an actual example. Yeah, you can hit it. Give you an example. Yeah. I'm not going to mention you by name, but a report's coming out in the coming weeks. Yeah. Okay. You tell me, you tell me off, off, off camera. Yeah? I'll tell you off camera. Oh. UK based charity, you know who you are if you're watching this. They paid a very prominent instrument based Nasheed artist £300,000, right? For two gigs. Two gigs? Two gigs. Just hear me out. Oh. Hear me out. The justification was, but he raised nearly two million for us, right? Now, I can't see how the Ummah's wealth. 300,000 bags bro oh, Wow that's, that's, that's a lot of that's money That's a lot of money That's a big bro. number That's a big that's number a lot of money, For yeah. two gigs Who wants to be millionaires? 250, 500 and a mil yeah. It's in between that yeah. and, and, and the justification was Well he raised He raised 2 million for man <laughs> Wow 2 gigs Boy okay Would you accept a gig If someone offered you 100 bags? Charity? Yeah no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. One second, I gotta be honest. If if it was a private investor mm. who give it and said, "Look, we privately got that money, and it's not the money that the people are donating." You know, when you donate mm. and you donate, you donate for the cause. You're not donating for uh, 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 someone like yeah. Me you type in like, you type in Syria food package stuff, right? But, yeah. but the charity yeah. would argue that oh, the, the ten pound that the Ummah has given. So let's say Diddy has given ten pound to this charity. That money is gonna now be invested into this Nasheed artist in the wider scheme of things that he's going to go and raise even more money for the cause. That's the justification. Yeah. I think that's a stretch. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I just, I, just hope that, I just hope that these charities, they have lots of people, donors, right? They have mm. people who would actually, if they sat down with a donor and broke that story to him like that, mm. if we get this artist, we will pay da -da 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 this much. All that, bro. I heard. I'm not going to mention the charity as well. They had. Uh, uh, I'm not going to mention the person as well because they're going to know who it is because they're the only guys who brought that guy over. Very uh, a f a famous footballer. Um, uh, they paid this a 150 thousand pound for the guy to just walk on stage, say something, and walk off again. And when I heard that, I was like, what? You know, I was baffled. That is unjust. Mm -hmm. And and a lost pound knows everything you're doing. But if this charity who paid that, if they had somebody, a donor, because they have their big donors, yeah, as well, right? big boys, yeah. if they mm -hmm. sat with the donor and said, Look, we're getting this artist to come, are you willing to cover his fee of three hundred thousand pounds? Then I think that's fine. Okay. Because uh, yeah, that's art, separate. That's, that's separate. That's a fee for the artist. I agree because I believe in Islam. Uh, we're an excellent religion. Like you know, your five pillars, bro. Mm. I believe that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives you so much money that you'll match the sky and uses and all that. Inshallah, right? Amin. Inshallah. We, we can't do that if we don't have funds. Mm. Yeah. So even with a Nasheed artist, uh, me, everything I get, I put back into the studio, and I'm not, <clears> I'm, I'm an independent Nasheed artist. Everything I've done to this day, only Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has helped me. Mm. No Nasheed artist has ever given me a shout out. Mm. They've only given me a shout out when I. 
became who I became thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm still working at it but the support is the money is important but if they're doing it using the ummah's money mm. and they're saying you're going to pay for a Syria food package but really you know two pound that's going to go into that brother's pocket mm. then that's wrong that's mm. unjust yeah, yeah sure. even even if it's for the the biggest stretch what you mean yeah when, like, when they when they explain that look okay it's a huge fee but this machine because he came we managed to raise two mil so in the grand scheme of things it's 1.7 game are you saying that if they said this to the audience they will never say that no, but, so who would they say that to then who like, they, like, when I, you ask them like, like, when we've spoken to when i've spoken to certain certain people senior people in charities and, okay. and i stuck it on them i said listen yeah i've got evidence that you've paid this artist x amount of money where did that money come from? Did it come from the entire pot of that's raised at South Kajaria? Yes, it did. How do you justify that? Because this artist has come and he raised two and a half million, two million. So if you compare his fee of 300,000 to yeah. two million, it's justified. So no brain well, they, they justify like that, yeah. 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 But yeah. I can't yeah. see how that's justified. I, I would agree with you. That's messed up I because when my, let's say my, my dear mother, who sometimes in Ramadan, she'll tell us to make us a donation to a particular charity. She's not doing it for next artist to come down and raise two million pounds. It's because she wants to feed the, hung, the, the hungry Syrian widow. She's, yeah. she's seen a video clip of someone suffering in some part of the world. She's like, I want to give money to that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, is, it is a madness out It's a madness out isn't it? Yeah. So now, so like, how much P have you actually made? You smashed it, bro. No, I, honestly, I haven't. I wish I did. <laughs> so I wish I did. So you'd accept a £100,000 fee if it was covered by a private donor? Yes. Donors, yes, donors yeah. out here, you hear this, yeah? Donors, yeah, I wish they You know how many Come people on. have approached my brothers to finance projects for, for you know, giving people a, a, a different alternative when it comes to dramas or anything like that? Bro, they, they, they're not interested. But what, they have, what Muslims have to understand is art... In the mainstream world influences everything they do mm. if you look at hollywood their propaganda is mad now we need to have a machine like that to counter that if that makes sense yeah and we know that animation our kids put the you what do they do? straight away go to the baby shark dude do, do, yeah, 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 so yeah. my kids already and he's, he loves spider-man mm. and spider-man's throwing up the you know whatever the little, the little mm. devil and all that and i'm looking at my kid going what are you doing like if I'm, i can't see he's two but we're not doing anything to give them anything better back i think mm. I, I i think you know on that just kind of we, we touched upon this on episode one with sim didn't we like how do you deal with the 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 machine and i think the only the, inshallah i mean we will make our efforts yeah. omar isa will make his efforts in the nishid industry sure. diddy will make his in contributions in the media industry sure. aki will make his contributions in the physiotherapy yeah no no that doesn't mean much. it's an industry still yeah what, just giving people massages? Something like that. Yeah. This, this is, okay, it's, it's important. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. But yeah. the point is, we're dealing Don't with... Don't ask me for no massage. Okay. We're dealing with machines, right? Yeah. State-backed, industrial-scale machines with multi-trillion dollar things. Yeah. So, the way I see it is, I will make my meager effort. I will make my effort. Yeah. But ultimately, there will come a time, respect for that, there will come a time when, inshallah, we will lit see a civilizational revival yeah. where we can't compete on that level. Yeah. But I don't think we can ever compete on that level. Yeah. But we just do our bit. Yeah. We have to do our bit. Because, yeah. you have to understand, if you look at the Muslim world, yeah. Turkish media, yeah. uh, Pakistani media, yeah. uh, they're influenced by the Western mainstream. Yeah, they are, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so what are we talk if we're talking about an Islamic alternative, yeah. an Islamic alternative to that level yeah. will only require a state-to-state -state kind of thing or a yeah. civilizational thing. Yeah. Uh, but so we have something that's so widespread and endorsed by it's an so entire government. But bro, can I say something to you? If somebody gave me mm. only £50,000, I would, out of that, I would produce... I would produce um, a, a drama, a, a, like a series, a 10 episode series, a comedy series, mm. uh, halal one. Mm. I'll, and also with that, I'll produce that animation stuff out of our kids. Because mm. we know what we're doing. Because I've worked in the industry for so long. I know who to talk to. I know how to do it. I know what to do. I do audio and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not even asking for money like that. Huge we're asking money. for a little money to just show you what we can do. And we wouldn't even, we would grow it on, we would grow it on YouTube. YouTube is a huge platform. Man. Yeah, of course it is. Go to the children's channels and see how many subscribers yeah, they have. Unbelievable numbers. That's why crazy. Disney's buying them. Because Disney knows that this is, is gold. Of course. The, one of the biggest subscribers on uh, YouTube is a kid. 
Yeah. Ryan's toy, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. I've seen that, but sometimes I've come into my yard. Obviously, uh, the nephew Denise watching it. It's really colourful, crazy white guys doing madness, yeah. eating mad food, making all kinds of mess. making slime. Uh, but, but if you're talking about just the really, really like the, the, the cartoons and the little songs for like infants, it's crazy. They got like hundreds of millions of views. Like it's outrageous. I'm, I'm releasing an animation, Nasheed Inshallah, in September, and it's three minutes long. It cost me five thousand pounds. And in Pakistan, in Pakistan, yes, rupees, bro. Them guys will live off that money for two years. Of course, mm-hmm. they yeah. I'm saying now, yeah. imagine how expensive it is here. Mm. So, does that make sense? So, that's what I mean. Animation, they're constantly pumping it out. Mainstream guys, they know what they're doing, bro. There's a there's a machine behind it, like you said. said but I do believe, mashallah, Muslims are rich. Yes. If we believed, if they, if there was a, if even two Muslim brothers who believed, who are millionaires, who believe that art is vital in a halal way, because lots of people get money for art and they misuse it, right? Yeah. yeah. But we need we need brothers who can, like what Ali's doing with the salam. I think it's amazing, bro. Mm. Yeah. And the criticism they get is so sad. Why somebody ask for money is it bad no it's not he needs your help and he's asking you to let's be real people like need that. money to do things well, straight, yeah. well, straight up when, when, when five pillars fund raises funds right when, when, when we do it let's let's be honest here, it's not desirable i don't feel good having to always go out mm. and make cringeworthy videos yes. or making pleas to the ummah to support our work however next time you complain about islamophobia in the media yeah. next time you complain about our ulama and our groups and our massages and our institution being attacked don't cry and say that there's not alternative media no, for the exactly, muslims bro, exactly bro yeah? exactly so them things require money they require money yeah. and it requires community funding yeah because you know i don't know if you've ever heard this Omar. you know there's a very common thing like oh us muslims need to be more like the jews not necessarily but there's one aspect of the jewish community that we really do need to learn and that's the strengthening and the backing of institutions yeah do you understand yeah, yeah, right yeah, the right institutions yeah, yeah, yeah so quite frankly you know, whether you find Ali's videos cringe or annoying or you don't like the style of Five Pillars or you think Omar oh, Issa's got a bit of a womanly voice, whatever it may be, yeah, right? Yeah. The point is there's a need that for it. That must be a big problem out there. No, no I, don't know. I don't know if that was a Freudian slip. I, I, I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the thing is, bro? I think that's important. I think your, your organization, Five Pillars, I think Ali's thing, the work that we need to be done, people have to understand money has to go into it. Has to. People ask all the time when I release a Nasheed, I get people going, when are you releasing the next one? Bruv. Chill. I need to figure out where am I going to get the money from? How am I going to record it? Where am I going to film it? What am I going to do? And then I've got to put it out. Mm. You can't keep releasing stuff. I need I need to perform, get money in. I need to do audio work, get money in. Give us an opportunity. We'll do something for you. Mm. We'll give you something, give you the same feel, give you the same kind of feeling inside. And we'll do it on a 432 frequency, okay. which is the place where it's actually natural to the body. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So You spoke about this with... Um yeah, Zishan. With Zishan, yeah, yeah. So, so there's a particular frequency which works and, and the body reacts. Well, 440 is what they've done in, in the 40s, they did, right? They all changed. I don't know what this stuff means. So they changed their musical um, tuning mm. to 440 frequency. Mm. And but uh, originally it used to be 432. So mm. Beethoven, Mozart, mm. all the classical guys used to do 432. The reason why uh, people say, you know, when you're revising, listen to Mozart and all that, no. is because it's actually it's a science behind it. It actually connects with our body mm. more Mad. than 440. And there's a scientist who did a study on it and he found that 440 is actually really, really dangerous. So does that that. mean when I, when Five Pillars or or just other media outlets use certain sounds Mm. when conveying news in videos, it's the same reason why? So people connect with the news via the music. Yeah, because you, obviously when you're doing music, you're working in minor and major. So for example, minor is sad news. Mm. Right? When you get sad news, you do minor key. Mm. Um, and if you do major, it's Party. happy news. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah, you know, and people connect with it because people, and also, bro, wallah, I'm not even joking, wallahi. I did a little thing with my little daughter. My little daughter is like four months old. Mm. And I brought home a, a 440 and 432 recording of mine. Mm. I played one to her. She was anxious. She was. She was. She was. She was crying. Four thirty-two. I played. She stopped crying. Same thing. And I'm not saying this is definitive research, right? Mm. But even me, when I listen to fourth, I've started doing all my music in four thirty-two now. Everything I do, because when we when I do backing vocals, I have to sing to a key, right? Mm. So we'd have to put something there to sing over, and we tune everything to four thirty-two. I love music, man. I love it. I had three guitars, a piano. Uh, sorry, a, a keyboard. I gave it up, I had this stack of CDs, I'm an encyclopedia of music. But when I found out that my Allah and his messenger said, don't 
go near it. I went, okay, if I'm going to practice this deen, I'm going to do it correct. I'm going to get rid of the interest in my bank. I'm going to get rid of this in, in my life. I'm going to get rid of car insurance. I'm going to pay it all off in one go. I'm going to do this. I'm not, you know, there's certain things that you uh, yeah. try to live by. I knew you, know? you were pious. I knew it. I'm, I'm not, not, know, I'm not, know, I'm not, I'm not pious. But his name is Umar and yeah. Isa. Yeah. yeah. As a combination. Yeah, that's, that's a strong, thing. isn't it? MashaAllah. I'm, no, I'm not pious. I'm just, I, I'm feel, not I feel a bit bad. I'm done. Well, you feel a bit bad? Quran police in it. My brother's over there. He's over there. Over there. He's over there. He's come to my yard. This is. They're enjoying good food. You make you sweat in him. Look, he's got his draw for the part again. Draw for my finger. That, that part, is, that part <laughs> must be really nice. Is that your, is that your third one? Uh, oh, you're carrying right, yeah? The third one here. It's third one here, but I, I think he's on, he's close to double D. At today. least it's not the the part that our 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 you know our mothers have. Huh? Yeah, our, 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 some of the elder Bengalis, you know, they get they the good have stuff. Some other kind of yeah. the good stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. The strong stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. But look, you know the issue of um, you know the issue of you were saying that you love music and yeah. and and. Look, man, you know, anyone anyone who knows, you know, I, I think there's lots of people out there, Muslims, who genuinely believe that, you know, this music is haram, right? Mm. Like, for example, you know, I got permanently expelled from school when I was in year 10. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a mad team when I was young. And then I went to a school which is predominantly with, uh, uh, predominantly black, mixed race. Uh, and, and, and that's when grime was just coming into the scenes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Dizzy had just released I Love You. And then the whole beef with Wiley and all that kind of stuff happened. So Gr- that's when grime was hot, isn't it? That's when Grime was hot. Yeah, Grime's age. having its second wave. Now. It's having its second wave. Yeah, that, that, that was like golden that, age of Grime. The, that, that was the first golden age of Grime. Yeah. Uh, so Solid were just dying out. They were coming into the scenes, wildly dizzy and all that. Mm. And but even sometimes when I just hear it on the off chance, I'm like, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. It's mad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think music is one of them things that if you if you listen to a lot of it and it's everywhere, there's always this inclination to just want to hear it, just yeah. to play it on the car yeah. or just hear it on the to car. reminisce, to reminisce. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. you know at the very because you know back in there there were some some hot tunes mm-hmm. yeah. that you associate with a certain period and it takes you back yeah, to a certain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have that? Uh, do, do, you have, have, do you have that feeling? Okay, so with me, my bro, honestly, uh, like I said before, Allah is my witness. Every day I want to go back to music. Every day I have a conversation with, with the wretched shaitan. He's mm. whispering. One thing he always says is that Muslims don't even appreciate you. What are you doing? Go back to music. Watch what happens for you there. If, if, if The words that come is, if you're doing what you're doing here, it, where there's no industry, imagine what you could do with an industry, with a manager, with a record label, with PR team, with this and all that. I Honestly, every day is a struggle for me, man. But I love music, but I, I don't listen to music. I don't, in my car, you go into my car right now, you will put it on and you, all you hear is my backing vocals if mm. I'm going to performances. And in fact, you go in my car, I don't even have the radio on. I literally sit there in silence. I'm a weirdo. So I know who I am. <laughs> I'm a, I know who I am. I know I'm a, I'm a weirdo. So, 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 no, no, so just like, so how do you deal with, uh, so, uh, how do you deal with then, uh, you listen to, do you ever listen to the radio then? No. News. News. No. So how do you buy it? LBC? No, I don't. And now, obviously, it makes me vex, man. I don't think it, it makes me. Yeah, every season, bro. Every season, crazy. On a quickly, quick little, quick little side, now I watched a video about what's happening in China. Man, yeah. I want to help our brothers. I mean, sisters. our Uyghur brothers. I read the comments. They were people were agreeing with it. Yeah, I was kind of stuck. I was angry. Yeah. And I thought, man, you know, I'm this this dunya. I, I don't understand. It's a mad thing. Yeah, yeah, people so, yeah, are worried. Well, Go onto the comments page of any news news Facebook against page. Muslims. Yeah, sometimes anything that's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The hatred is just. I, I'm baffled, bro. Yeah. This is how not. This is how the the Nazis gas the Jews bro yeah. you know that yeah. Yeah. it didn't happen overnight they created yeah. a certain environment yeah, yeah, to do, yeah, yeah, do, yeah. do re-education camps yeah, yeah. bro and also Muslims we don't do ourselves any favours when we've got Muslims who do programmes on TV against the Muslims bro when there's a problem all or, I'm not going to mention the programme but recently came out and yeah, yeah. against a whole kind of all over the country this is a problem mm-hmm. but you're saying uh, yeah, that uh, waste specific town that waste on, man, man that came on BBC I don't even know why his community even invited him back to Huddersfield mad, right mad, and bro. for those of you like I forgot the guy's even did the, he even did the, the, the same. What, you know our hometown, yeah? Yeah, hometown. He even yeah, did the yeah, satanic yeah. thing. Yeah. He did the same yeah. thing. Ah, oh, that made me vex, yeah. bro. Why do you want people to understand that, bro? Yeah. There's drug dealing happening everywhere in the United Kingdom. There's firms I mean, and crews. It's just an entitlement that because I'm Pakistani, I'm Asian, and I'm from this town, I'm going to go got there. Saying it, yeah. I've got a say in it. Yeah, Here yeah. you go. You got the perfect host yeah. for the show. Yeah. Come on, this is an absolute joke. That's not sincere. I'm surprised he was even called back to his community, That's knowing, not knowing his background. I'm just baffled that they don't. It shows you. It's clear cut that people who are not who, like someone like me would never get a gig like that <coughs> because firstly we won't take it. Mm. Secondly. 
Um, uh, uh, congratulations as well for turning down that thing, by the way. Allah bless you. Someone sent me that. Daily Mirror. I, I did. I did that event, you know, mm. years ago. Um, you know, oh, the, 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 oh, the Bad for Literature Festival. Yeah, I did it back there, but it was. It wasn't. They, no, weren't, they, 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 they weren't taking the funding back then. I, I performed in a synagogue. It was really yeah. weird in Bradford, but Muslims bought in all that mm. kind of stuff. And uh, so, so credit for. I remember I was just about to walk into that place, and a mm. brother saw me. Mm. And Omar, oh, so you could, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was because it was beginning. I thought, oh, I got recognized. It's nice. And he goes, "Where are you going, bro?" I went, I'm just going to go and perform in there. And he started bust out a hadith to me about how you're not supposed to go. In. And I went, Jews are not even here, bro. It's an empty synagogue. And he went, all right. And he rode off again. And I went and did my thing. I told you Muslims are lurking. They're ready. He just got me, bro, like that. And I was, and I was, <laughs> and I was, I was guilty. It's like they just spawn out of nowhere just to give you a reminder. I was guilty. Really I, yeah, I was guilty. Mm. There was obviously all non-Muslims there. And, you know, non-Muslims really pay attention when you perform, man. They've mm. got really good manners, mm. man. Muslims as well, but they really, really pay attention to art. So it was, it's, uh, but uh, well done for, man, dropping out. Because it's, it's difficult to go, your, our nafs is so deadly, man. Mm. Mm. Sometimes we want that fame, we want that, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of no trust. You know that kind of yeah, that attention, attention, reputation. That's what it is. And, you, and and then I had lots of people started dropping out, and it's they all trying to bless you guys for standing I mean, up for Huck, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean and you know. you know, even like when my guy we went and did that gig in Huddersfield, I actually forgotten his name, but I don't really care about his name. But the guy who did the hometown documentary, Mobin, is something Mobin, yeah, 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 right. Thing is, you know, I spoke to um, Zishan from Smarty Journal in that episode. I said to him that when I had an opportunity at the Daily Mirror. Right, and the Daily Mirror, uh, I applied for a job there, and the editor, who I can't mention for legal reasons, said that look, you know, what's your USP? Sell yourself to me. So I, being a very naive, very young journalist, was just recently qualified. I was like, yeah, I'm going to give you proper representative news, and I'm going to give you access to the mainstream community. Da, da, da. And that editor, quite frankly, with a square face, just said to me, no, I want you to go, or we would envisage someone like you to go into your community and get to the crux of the issue of radicalization. So essentially you want me to be a spy in my own community yeah, wow. Now when you're willing to do them things yeah. When you're willing to do them things I literally throw your entire community under the bus Because yeah, yeah. my guy who did that documentary He's no longer going to go back to Huddersfield He's not going to go and live amongst his community yeah. but He's just thrown the entirety of the people under the bus You know what's mad? When I was, on, I was watching it, I fell asleep when I, Watching it, yes I was watching it actually on, it wasn't channel, a great I, was, I was watching it as well channel three, I fell asleep And when I, when I, when I was watching it, I went You know, I've heard really good things about Huddersfield, bro mm. Like the Muslim community and Jewsbury is really close mm, yeah. And they've got really good madrasas They do I thought, what is, what's happening here, man? Because I've been there a lot of times And I've never heard anybody speak I know there must be a problem I there. went to uni in Bradford for three years okay. So, so, so I, I obviously Huddersfield, like, Huddersfield and Bradford yeah, the neighboring towns, towns right and I, you know, you're much more better versed than me then uh, you know you probably even did you did you think that was it like that what what was your kind of thing on it then? well i was watching it with a friend who's actually from huddersfield oh yeah cool, cool, cool. and they recently moved to london and we were, and obviously I, I, I spent a few years in bradford and i've got friends in huddersfield as well and i worked in dewsbury actually um so i had a good idea of yorkshire and I know that there's problems. You know, there's drug problems. Yeah, and there's, and there's, problems. Come on, man! But it's not. You can't tell me it's not like that's where the drugs are reviving from Huddersfield. You know what I mean? Oh, it's mad, like, this is where like, they actually pointed out. Of bro. course, they're like, like this it's is coming from there. And, and then at one point, I had some. Uh, I saw. You know, when it comes next time, you know what's going to happen next mm. time? There was this Caucasian man who goes, "Yeah, yeah, you know, all you know, all the, the all the white guys are just the dealers. The main guys are the Asian guys." And I thought, well, give us mm. give us something else to. Mm. We're now groomers. We're mm. drug dealers. Mm. We're Terrorists with everything but the, Okay the, You know I'm guessing A spider look, man, man. Even, even in the sleepy town Of Bedford We've got Luton Down the road We've got Peter Brothers Down the Every single place yeah. Has firms and crews Who shop mall yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, it, yeah, it It's just a yeah, common yeah. thing Don't pinpoint it That was a pure Throwing the community Under the bus Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was really bad man That was what I was from Huddersfield What can I do with that I don't even know Why I watched it Because when I watched Satanic Verses With the same guy I thought to myself Why is he trying to tell people To read the book mm. Muslims don't want to read it the guy could do whatever he wants. Salman Rushdie can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. We don't want to read that piece of crap book, man. We don't want to read it. Mm -hmm. So why are you forcing and Muslims to read it? What is your what is your take? Why are you doing this work? But I don't know, bro. We don't even know what's happening in the world, bro. Mm -hmm. If people are coming out like these guys, these two people, mm -hmm. I heard that they're not they weren't Muslims, bro. How many more people are out there? Yeah, doing it's a massive. Allah it's a massive. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as, as as we wrap up, right? On the issue of temptation, yeah, you know, you've you've said a number of times that you know you love music, yeah, and I will also say I love music as well, yeah, right. I've you know, heard that in the same way that we may say that we, as a, a thing, we love women, we love money, we love this. There's many things that we just love, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and and if those prohibitions weren't there, we'd indulge in it most yeah, likely yeah, yeah, in yeah. in a mad way, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, 
how, how are you dealing with it? How do you deal with it? You know, you said that you have these the conversations, conversations you have these, you have these conversations with the wretched shaitan. How do you... Uh, does shaitan ever come with you, like with tunes as well? How do you overcome him, man? Sometimes a, a track a, a, a track will come in a new grime track and you're like, oh, that's a sick beat. Okay, sick. Oh, that's a good beat. That's yeah. a good. My, one of my best friends is a Hindu guy. Okay. So this this I'll call it this guy he, he knows he, even in the car he doesn't even put music on mm. with me, but he will occasionally send me a song and I'm like, bro, what are you doing, mm. right? But my nerves and I'm saying this publicly, man, I may Allah's brother forgive me. I click it. Curiosity mm. killed the cat. I click mm. it and I listen to it a little bit. I'm like, that's a bad boy beat. Mm. And I'll turn off if that makes it. How I deal with it, my bro. I when I started learning about my religion, I I started learning about. I first I started. I built a connection with Allah, and I I always say to people, I love Allah the most, and I fear Allah subhanahu wa taala the most. And I live my life on that basis that um, I'm scared of Allah. So I know that if I do something which is wrong, now if I listen to something privately, that's my thing. But it scares me to the death of me that if I ever put something out with music in it, and it is it is haram. Say for example, I go with the strong. If I go with the the little the the they, you know, there's a difference. Of, they say there's a difference of opinion. If I went with that opinion, right, and uh, I, I did it. I'm scared what's going to happen to me on the day of judgment, man. Mm. What is? How many people have listened to that? I'm scared. Some of my stuff's still online. Yeah. I tried to find the guys to take it off, and it's non-existent. The, yeah. the, I don't is know it all off now? Are. Can't trace huh? it. Is it all off now? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. We we'll find it. Not. That's the earliest. So don't judge my music. Okay. Um, <laughs> but that's that kind of thing, right? It's that fear. And, and recently, you know what's mad? And I've not spoken to anybody apart my wife and close friends about this. Quickly, what happened was. Um, I said to myself, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really tired of the machine industry because there's no backing, there's no support. Yeah. And I said to myself, oh, I'm done with it, bro. I'm done with it. I love my dean. I'll practice my dean. I'm gonna go back to music at the end of the year. Yeah. I said <coughs> that I'm gonna go back to music. Done with it. Done with it, bro. Subhanallah. May Allah, uh, Subhanallah, bless my father with Jannah. I mean, he passed I'm, away. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah. And uh, whenever I have these mad kind of thoughts, something happens in my life where Allah is like, now it's that fact of what you're gonna, you're gonna let your dad down. Mm. Are you not going to be a Sadaka Jari for your dad now? Mm. So you're going to do that. And bro, I know what would happen to me if I went back to music. I, I was a I was an egotistical, arrogant, sociopath. I was mental. I wanted to, uh, even now, I'm very competitive. I want to be the best machine artist in the world. I'm not denying that. Mm. But I want to do it in the right way, inshallah, where inshallah. Allah is pleased with me. So I'm scared. I'm scared that Allah uh, will, will, will get me for going back to music. That's why I don't do it. And also for my dad now. Okay. And I've never had personal death in my life. Yes. So that's the first time I've, I have faced personal death. And that is what I'm um, I'm scared about. So, who, bruv, don't judge me. If this time next year you see me on, mm. on uh, you know, on... Uh, on they don't, on don't even do Top of the Pops. On they Grime Daily. They don't even do Top of the Pops. I doubt Grime Daily. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Highly doubt that. What? I, go back to my I, w- I wanted to ask you, bro, yeah? You know, you know, may Allah give your uh, father mercy. Amen. And uh, forgive him for any shortcomings And give him paradise forever Amen. Amen. Um, You know you said your father uh, It was your birthday Your birthday is on April 17th yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, uh, you said you said your father used to sing happy birthday yeah, man. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. to you, your siblings, other relatives yeah, as well yeah. Yeah. And uh, you said obviously you know, it, it didn't happen this time around yeah, yeah. Obviously and you said, did your father inspire you? Is it like, did you, did you, you know, your memories of your father singing happy birthday and things like that? No, no, my dad's happy birthday was literally this, happy birthday. No, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know, but my, my, when I was growing up, um, my mom doesn't do it now, but when we were growing up, my mom used to listen to Bollywood a lot. Yeah. So I, as a kid, I used to listen to a lot of that stuff. You know? We all did. You know, and it's, it was in our house, wasn't it? No, yeah, we all did. And, you know, and then when Ramadan came, it's mad though. Have you noticed that a lot of the people who use music outside of Ramadan, but when music comes, they say it's haram. Mm. Why is that? I, th- I, th- I think I think what happened was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's a bit weird. I, isn't I, it? I, 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 think, I think there's a number of inconsistencies you'll find, bro. Yeah, yeah? It's, it's for example, strange. for example, I don't, I don't know how it was. I don't know if Pakistanis do this, but at least for the Bengalis, man, Shabrat and the the, the 27th night. Yeah, and yeah. Shabrat, Shabrat. Right? The, the televisions are covered. The pictures are covered. Yeah, oh, yeah. everything's off. Yeah, yeah. The Agarbati comes out. The Agarbati yeah. comes out, and then, and then that's a bare, bare sage like piety. Yeah. Put them down, and it's back to normal. It's mad though, isn't it? It's, it's like the Dean is a one day Dean mm. or something. It really is. It's like, yeah, it's like festival. But may Allah Subhanahu guide us all. You know, I mean, we're all on a journey. You know. Cool. And inshallah, when the beautiful thing is that the brothers who I've spoken to do do instruments, beautiful brothers, man, all of them, whoever I met, beautiful brothers. I just wish that we could come together. But inshallah, I will not come together with them what they do with the instruments, but I hope they can come with me and do you know vocal only. So, so, inshallah. So, so when you've engaged with the brothers who are involved in in instrument based nasheed or, or kind of Muslim based music, yeah. 
what is the content? What is it? Do they just? Is it truly a, a yaqeen in the opinion that they follow, or is it? Do you feel? Have you sensed? Without mentioning it, do you sense that they've used a fringe or minority opinion to justify their desire for instrument-based music? I think it's both. I think it's both. I do believe some of them genuinely believe it's true. Mm. Brother Salman Bhatt said mm. something really profound when I said this. He goes, you know, he goes, I think this is what it is, Omar. He goes, when they see you, it's like they're, they're, they're looking at something that they, they, they should be doing. Mm. And because they're not doing so, then automatically you start disliking that person. Because, say for example, bro, you know back in the day when you had that pious guy? Mm. Yo, Achi, mm. you know, go away from me, innit? Mm. I'll pray when I'm going to pray, mm. innit? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? It's like that. Now, if I do voice only, the instrument guy's like, this guy doesn't, what is he doing, man? Mm. You know, he's killing up. Yeah. So in the it's I, I, I it is all, might be that I'm not I don't I don't know what they are but I do genuinely believe they've got people they follow some of the mad some of these mad guys bro who give them opinion for anything mm. yeah so they believe in because when see this is what is what's so dangerous is when someone's got knowledge knowledge is good it's power but knowledge is deadly mm. when used by the wrong people of course bro. and you we can see that I'm not going to mention some of these guys who are out there who are a lot of the guys follow these guys right and then they're giving them opinion the music's fine. What's wrong with you? I'll give you the opinion. Let me show you that. You can find anything to be very honest of with you. There's a scholar who once upon a said anything to be honest with you, yeah. was, you know, was permissible. But I you think, have to, you know. I think Ibn Taymiyyah said, he said, if he, he said, if you want to That's find right. a hukum that make that makes it permissible for you to become apostate, then you can find it in the Quran. Wow. I never do that. Yeah, yeah but, but the wow. point I'm trying to make is that if you want to find something so in the deen, allowed. you'll find it. He was talking about fatwa shopping back then, bro. Yeah, he goes, you wow. want to find, if, if you want to find you a fatwa to leave the deen, you find it in the Quran. No That's problem. ultimate yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah. stuff yeah. for Allah. Well, like, wow. like if you really went out and you and you and you, saw, and you shopped for it, you'll find someone will give something well, to you. Find it, you find it. Find well, it. it's 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 mad. May Allah, as I said before, Wallahi, honestly, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa taala just make it easy for all of us. You know, I mean, we all need to come together and we need to create industry. You, my brother, with your media, may Allah subhanahu wa taala make it successful. I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, mean, my brother, honestly, physio as well. May Allah subhanahu wa taala make you become the best physio. Inshallah, I'll do something. I mean, I'll make beats on man's backs. I'll do something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's actually super permissible. Yeah, yeah, percussion is actual technique, yeah. and they've, they've got the groove in the back. So you got this that is it. Vibe. This is it. Yeah, you know. That I, I, I work on something. Is it called a Swedish math? I mean, a Swedish massage. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Swedish a technique. Massage. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Not that you're ever going to get one ever again. <laughs> oh, you, you don't. You don't. You don't give you no massage. No, of course I do. I do hijamas. I do hijama on him as well, time to time. Oh, okay. But I have to beg for it, though, bro. He, he, does, he doesn't. He doesn't beg for it. Does I have he, to beg for it, bro. This is don't look. We're gonna cut this out of the camera. Yeah. Right, you have to beg for it. That's the truth of it, bro. Because they're gonna think, what sort of blood brothers are these lot? Right, so blood brothers that the older brother has to beg you from a side when I'm injured from gym and stuff. That's, yeah. not, that's not true. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, you need to get. I, I just recently my leg. You need to help me out, bro. Where, yeah, where, are, you, where, where, are, you, where are you based? No, no, no I, I, yeah, I work in London. Yes, yeah, so, so I, I, I work in different clinics in London. Oh, but do you travel though? Do you do private stuff, stuff as well? I could do private stuff. I'll probably yeah. more so on weekends because weekdays. By the time I get back from really? London, we we'll yeah. need to talk then, inshallah. Inshallah, because I need a physio. Yeah, inshallah. I'll come yeah, visit you, my It's cool, man. Thank you very much for having me on, there. Bro, absolute pleasure, man. Jazakallah khair. Right, really, you. really happy to have you here. You know, we really enjoyed the podcast with you. Yeah. And um, uh, but in Brad Brothers traditions and oh, keeping. Oh my God, our podcast. Yeah, brilliant. No, 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 no. He sensed it. it. You know that was such oh, a mistake. Such a mad guy. You know, wallahi when I did that, I thought, <laughs> oh, holy crap! I just closed the room. Yes, you just I closed the room. Right, well, yeah. well, I could sit here all night. No, no, it's a couple of times you guys said, okay, just the last question, the last one. I'm going. Am I going to? Just, it's, 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 he clocked the 432 frequency yeah. and he knew that it would come, it would come, it would come to an end. And he was right. Yeah, and he was happy as well. You know, and over opened the door. He had chocolates. I took the chocolates before even asking. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so, 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 so we're all doing madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, he didn't even let me give them to you. Well, yeah, yeah, he didn't took it off your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I saw the white one. I love yeah. it. So yeah, in keeping with tradition, my brother, yes. whenever we have our guests on, yes. and uh, we end the podcast by giving uh, three options. Yep. And these are the three options. The first one is an arm wrestle with one of the hosts. Yeah. The second is a thumb war. Yes. Again, with one of the hosts. And the third one is to share us in indulging with the Bangladeshi delicacy of uh, some supari and pan. The, well, the, the, pan, is, the pan I won't do because my wife's Bengali, so I'm used to that. Okay. I'll do the thumb war. You want to do the thumb war? Yes. Okay. So who do you want to have it out with, me or Dilly? I'm telling you, Dilly is with thumb war, he's just a bit, he hasn't got the techers. So he's he, not good, yeah? He, no, no, he's good, but he might be oppressive. Like he might cheat. 
Uh, me like I take pride in. It's, it's up to you. Who do you want to? It's up to you, my brother. Which I, one? I, so I, if you can be a pro, I'm gonna. I, I don't know. I, why you, I don't know why you didn't go for an arm wrestle. I I I, I, I think because I, I will lose. I think an <laughs> interesting. In my opinion, I think you and Dilly would be an interesting thumb ball. Should we go for a thumb ball? Bismillah. I think. So. I haven't done it in years, by the way. So yeah. So, so hold on. I'll do the I'll do the running commentary. Okay. Well, hold on. What has everybody else been doing? Most of your guests. Arm uh, they've been arm wrestling. Yeah. Why well, I should do an arm wrestle then? No, Ali Ali Hijab Sheikh. No, but, no, but, what, hold, Muhammad, you, uh, Muhammad Hijab, who won out that then? He who be, do you think? He, he yeah, Muhammad Hijab is a huge one, shall I yeah, yeah. But he cheated, I'll tell you now, Hijab, everyone who's watched that, bruv, you put your entire body and your pension scheme into that. Okay, we, okay, we want, we want a rematch out here. It's going to be AJ Ruiz, we're doing this again, running it over, okay? That's exactly with whatever you're comfortable with. No, no, we, we, should, we, should, we should mix it up. I'm quite happy to chose Thumbo. We could do Thumbo. Yeah, do let's do Thumbo. Right, do I have to do that? One, two, three, four. This is me. Five, this is me. I, 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 I'll do the, I'll do the, 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 right, the commentary. Yeah. yeah I can't so hold on. That. Before we start, because I had a confusion. Do we have to do this thing? Yeah, to yeah you flip it over here. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. One, um, one or best of one or best of three. Nice. No, no. What? Let's let's take it out in one. Yeah. None of these best nice. of three yeah, things. If you win, you win. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I declare thumb oh, war. Oh, okay, have it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we go. How long do you have to keep? Oh, we're moving. We're moving. I'm gonna give it. If it goes too long, I'm gonna give it a countdown. He's, he's a better yeah. person. You let him cheat, bro. Keep your hands still. Keep it's a thumb war. Right. It's happened. It's a one, two, three. Tap out. Done. <laughs> all right. Move. I lose all the time with thumb war. I lost against you. And why are you sitting? Here? I love, how do I set you up? It's a thumb war. No, you were, you were better pressed with that. Yeah, you had to go over the gaff. It's supposed to be straight, bro. Why the wall like that? You go. Whoa, Brother Omar Isa has a thumb of Thanos and a voice of an angel. Oh, yeah, not angel. Right? No, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. It's phrase. Congratulations, you beat me on that thumb wall. No, thanks for, yeah, thanks right, for letting but, me win. I, did you let me win? No, 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 no. no. I just thought so, I had to. Someone had to do him in thumb wall. He was doing a madness in fear. So no one did a thumb wall. This is the first time. No, actually, no, we did a thumb yeah, wall the first brother, episode. Our brother Sim from the Mad Mum looks. He came from Chicago. Oh wow! He came from Chicago. He did a thumb wall. Yeah. He beat both of us. No, he didn't. Second one was a draw. Was it? Yeah, it went on for too long. We were sweating. Anyway, <laughs> why don't Why don't Why don't mean you have an arm wrestle? Okay. By the way, I'm not saying that I will beat you. I just want to. I thought yeah. it's better if I do one. Otherwise, people say, "Look at this, Omar he says a wimp, no, just no, no, singing no, no, no. in that kind of way." No, Omar, 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 okay. Omar, 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 let me just show you something. Yeah. When Ali Dal was on the episode, he said, "I don't want to do." He don't. He don't. He didn't want to do. Because obviously, look, we're men. We size, right. we, we, beat me. we size man up, innit? Yeah. We're men. Men yeah. always size man up. I haven't yeah. done an arm wrestle in a long time. Yeah. Ali, look, Ali, went, I'm not doing an arm wrestle with you, but he wanted to do it with Aki. And he done me. No, but no, but you. No, no. I would think that you. Because you're a physio, so I'd assume that you exercise all the time, right? Yeah, I've tried to as well, but I tried to. You're allowed to hold on to the side. Okay. One, two. Can I do that over the top? Yeah, over the top. You can do it over the back. One, okay. two, three. <laughs> Finish him! Straighten your body, dude. Fatality. Holy, holy. Holy. Much is stronger, Baba! <sighs> I <laughs> stay with the the thumb ball. That's like one one. No, alhamdulillah. 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 Blood brother, real blood brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me back for the thumb ball, didn't it? That's deep. Bro, it was an absolute pleasure. It was a Thank pleasure. We hope to have you on the uh, show Inshallah. again. Inshallah. And inshallah ta'ala, we will absolutely be putting on your new single and uh, and letting people know um, any of the uh, new work that you have coming out. Just and like and we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, answers your du'as with regards to um, increasing you know, this uh, specific uh, area of Amin. music, Amin. Uh, voice only. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala softens the hearts of Amin. other brothers Amin. Yes. Um, Amin. who are Amin. in the music industry, who are Amin. using instruments, so you both can come together inshallah. and do something great for the community. Inshallah, inshallah. Jazakallah for having me. Thank you, brothers. Brothers and sisters, Jazakallah khair for tuning in, but that's all for today. But in the meanwhile, leave your comment and your feedback on the discussion that we addressed today. And subscribe on the Five Pillars channel, as well as the Mad Mamluks channel. And like and share our content. We really look forward to seeing you again next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And what? You're not going to hand it over to me to say oh, anything? I, I gazed it, bro. I'm sorry. How are you doing that? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I'll see you all next week. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Flood Brothers Podcast. A five pillars of Mad Mamluk's production. <laughs>